Super Coin Crew here, where it's nonstop Nintendo, and we are talking about Splatoon, Mitomo, Mitomo, Splatoon. It just does not end. My name is Kate, and I'm Nikki, and another Splatfest has been announced. And this time, it's all about Mitomo. Yeah. First, there was Splatoon in Mitomo. Well, now there's Mitomo in Splatoon. So check this out. The Splatfest theme is: Would you rather go to a fancy party or a costume party? And since it's a party, the Splatfest will be held simultaneously in all regions. This is actually the first global Splatfest that we have gotten. I know. In the past, it's been like jetpacks and hoverboards, and then like we got Future versus Past or something like that, right? Yeah. Or like Ninjas versus Barbarians. Mm -hmm. But this time, we're going to be playing with people in different regions. And I think that's actually really exciting. Yeah, that is really exciting. Also, a little nerve-wracking, right? I was just imagining, <laughs> say, like, you are talking to people in other countries yeah. about that, and you're yeah. saying, come on, but they say, to me, to me, <laughs> to me, to you me. know, <laughs> booyah, and they see, they see nice, 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 they uh, probably still say booyah. Yeah. I mean, because normally, outside of Splatfest, you're playing with other people anyways. Yeah. So, obviously, in Mitomo, you can dress up your character, and in the game drop, there was, like, hot dog costumes, yep. and that's, like, displayed for the uh, costume party, right? Right, right. And, obviously, Callie is... Fancy. Fancy. Yeah. He's so fancy. And Marie is costume. I can't betray her this time. I had to go, costume. go to costume. Man, like when Mitomo asked me the question, would you rather go to a fancy party or a costume party? I was like, probably costume because honestly, I don't have that many like fancy clothes. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm going to side with Cali. Just because. Oh, well, okay. Just because. I honestly think that fancy is going to be the underdog, the least popular. And so you game. think they're going to come out on top? Yeah. And yeah, who knows? Everyone's gonna say this is the party. first global Splatfest. True. So the numbers we and don't the, know. Yeah, we the don't sway know. might be like huge. You I know? mean, people in Europe might think costume parties are just outrageous. Yeah, they're like. No. What? I'm not gonna dress up. <laughs> no, no way. But I have no idea. One interesting thing about this Splatfest is that it actually starts on May 13th at 8 p.m. Pacific time, and it ends at 3 a.m. Pacific time on the 15th. So the first thing I noticed was that I'm like, that's, that's two days right. in between, right? Two yeah. day difference. So I calculated that's 31 hours of Splatfest. Time. 31 hours. That's yeah. a long Splatfest. I know some of you crazy kids out there will play the full 24 hours of a normal Splatfest. Yeah. But you're gonna have to stay awake for 31. Yeah, additional seven more hours. And they probably did because it's global more. and the time zones. Right, time zones. To get everyone playing. So it makes sense. Like, like a fair fight. Yeah. yeah, so I was initially worried I might not be here on Saturday. So I can come back and be like, you know what? I can still play. Yeah, you can still play for a couple hours. Yeah. yeah. Might not get king. So is it costume king and fancy king and probably. queen? Yeah. Costume queen and fancy queen. In Mitomo, I actually don't have any fancy clothes. I have a couple uh, costume items like the pineapple suit. I think that counts, right? Yeah, hot dog. I don't have the hot dog. You have hot dog? Dinosaur. You have the Mario suit. I have the Mario suit, yeah. I redeemed my platinum points for the Mario suit. I don't have any other ones though. Well, does all the inkling gear count as costume? Kind of, yeah. 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 The cardboard box? Yeah. Card I have that. I have the, uh... You did the, not. You I bought I have the that? old raggedy clothes. You bought the box? I think I did. What do you, you think you did? I probably did. You would remember if you bought the box. Yeah, then I probably did. Speaking of Mitomo, because they hit the benchmark of 10 million users, mm -hmm. they just finished up the 10 days of additional daily bonuses. Yeah. Not just the ones that you get monthly. Right. Right? They right. were just giving you thousands of coins. Coins and tickets, yeah. Like three game tickets a day. I know. It was amazing. And they just updated the shop with new game drops. Now there's all the, the top dog. Top dog oh, the one, top two, dog. And three. I love the hood. The hood is the best one. I like the dog socks. And you can be the a socks? poodle. You can be a poodle, oh. either like a rusty brown, a oh. white, or a black poodle. Oh, those are those are poodles? Yeah, you can get the, the hood, you can't really tell. Yeah, you get the suit, you can get the hood. The hood. Yeah, all that yeah. stuff. I like the um also like the collar, which is pretty cool. It's like it's very punk rock. You know? It's funny because they hit cats and now they're gonna do dogs. They hit too. cats? They hit cats, yeah. That's <laughs> very funny. Violence. Well, the cats were the first. Uh, the cats were the first. Drop. The yeah. dog was only like it was inevitable. Inevitable. And I feel like when they did release this latest game drop, they had a lot of dog themed questions. Like, what's your favorite thing about doggies? Right. Yeah. And then I could answer that one. The cats one I struggled with, but the dog one, easy answer. I did just skip all of them. <laughs> skip, 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 skip. Skip. The gothic game drops are ending the 15th of May, as well as the dog stuff. I know. So you only have this week to get those items in. Who knows? Maybe this week we'll see a new game drop. The the Splatoon stuff was in such high demand, I think that's why they've had it all month long. Yeah. Especially because you can buy the squid pen in the shop, and you can also get the ink tank as a reward. So yeah, they with wanted, the Mitomo coins. Yeah, so they wanted to make the Splatoon stuff readily available for everyone. They did a really good job of having a variety of game drops and like cycling through them pretty quickly. They've done the fruit one, they've done the bread one, so I mean we're hitting like lots of foods, lots of animals. Ninjas, right? We're really close to summer. They're probably oh, gonna do like right. a bunch of beach. Yeah, absolutely. Like absolutely. you can 
w running around with a beach gear, like a tidal wave costume or something <laughs> like that, or a sandcastle <laughs> costume. A tidal wave costume of all things, like yeah. not like a, yeah, sandcastle. Not, not a bathing suit, no. A sandcastle makes sense, but a tidal wave costume, which is like yeah. a wave that's always following you. Yeah, that's that's smart. Oh, so it's an accessory that you put on your back. I mean, like I can understand like an umbrella or like a like a beach ball that you put maybe. on your back. Yeah, flip flops are, that makes put on your back. Sense. Yeah, <laughs> flip flops on your back. Yeah, they're all accessories for your back. So let us know in the comments what Mitomo game items and clothing you want to see in Mitomo. Uh, what game drops you want to see? We're really curious. I mean, we're thinking some summer stuff. I was thinking about this recently. Uh oh. You know how you always win candy? You're like, oh, I have uh, so much candy. I do. What if I have so much? What if there are just game tickets on the bottom? It's like kind of like you yeah. play again. Yeah, that. Yeah, that's what they that should do. That would be cool. They right? should do that. Uh, Nintendo's listening. Hello? Like, like a free game. Hey, you just exactly. got, uh, try again, kind of. Exactly. I like right? that. That like would be that. really smart. That would be smart. Yeah. What other me too much is gonna be? Let's just let's just spitball. Let's just well, brainstorm. Why? Me why is the bottom always a candy? Like it should also be the the prizes. Or right. what if like you had like a multiplier? Like the like if you hit one of these bumpers, it's like a times two multiplier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, and if you if you hit that and you land on something, you get not one but two of them, and you get to pick two different colors. Or like the bottom was actually just a door that led back to the top. <laughs> you just kept going. Yeah, and then like redropped on the bottom too. It kind of defeats the purpose of like a game ticket. Yeah. Or just even coins. Or or if they had like Mario power ups that you could hit, so like it hit a, a mushroom. Yeah, it, just it, gets, fit. it gets big, so yeah, you could land on platforms easier. Or if it's like a superstar, you bounce faster. Or if it's like the cherry, you, you get. Double, or if double it's a, chances. It's a super leap, and you can fly up. <laughs> <laughs> just fly out to wherever you want to go. Goes back up. So thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. And let us know in the comments below what Splatfest team you're gonna be on. Team Fancy. No way. Team Costume. Keep it here, Super Coin Crew, where it's not inside Nintendo. Have you ever checked it out? Check out nine Splatoon players that you meet in every match. I'm the Booyah. -er. Yeah. Booyah. -er, for sure. Be sure to join the coin and subscribe. Thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs>